If you want another fooler, clap your hands. Oh, here's one now. I'm Ricardo Rosencrantz, and I'm a physician magician. I'm a neonatologist. I take care of premature babies. People often ask me whether I perform magic in the clinical setting for, for patients, but premature babies, they're not a great audience. Medicine has a lot of parallels to magic. I think of it as a performance art. A good doctor is trying to do the same things that a good magician is trying to do, connect with an audience member and give them a moment that they need. I believe we can become better doctors by studying master performers. Magic is a wonderful metaphor for health and healing. Taking something broken and putting it together, making it whole. That's what doctors do. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a doctor in the house and he's Ricardo Rosencrantz. As a magician, who also practices medicine, I have always been drawn to the illusions that knock at the door separating life and death. And no illusion knocks louder at death's door than the bullet catch. 12 people, 12, have died performing it. And very few, only the best, like Penn and Teller, have truly succeeded with it. But as much as I wanted to perform it, I have a wife and three kids and a great life. Could I really put myself in danger? The solution, have someone else do it. <laughs> Allison, <laughs> join me. I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Do you want, me, you want me to pick somebody for you? No, no, no. And don't worry, we're not going to shoot you. Not intentionally. You'll be safe as long as you stand right in that spot. It's the zone of safety. Oh, can Please I go join there? me. Yes. Oh, thank you. Phew. Okay. You see, Allison, I figured it out. The best way to do the bullet catch without killing anyone is to perform it with someone who's already dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Balsamo. <laughs> oh. Hello. Balsamo is a former patient of mine. Oh. Uh, I'm such a great doctor that I keep in touch with my patients after they're dead. Ah, okay. But, Allison, I know from your experience in Buffy that you can handle weapons and the undead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, the living impaired, he prefers that term, yes. Okay. For our bullet catch, we prefer a 19th century percussion pistol. It's old and weird, yet classy, like Balsamo. <laughs> Allison, Please meet Melanie. She has several rounds of ammunition. Oh, wow. And a couple of colored felt tip markers. Okay. Pick a bullet, pick a marker, put your initials on the bullet, make it yours, make it unique. Okay. Gonna pick Ladies purple. and gentlemen, in a moment, Balsamo and I are gonna ask for your silence and cooperation as we try to complete this complicated feat. Okay. Well, I, it's very... All done? Yes. So, Allison, literally, there's a bullet with your name on it. Oh, I just put a letter. Let's load the bullet in the gun. Me? Yes. Me? Okay. We'll take the bullet right there. Yes. Your signed bullet. The bullet. <laughs> in the gun. The weapon is loaded. It's time to go back to the oh, zone of safety. Goodness. Okay, good. <laughs> Phew. And Balsama, why don't you show her that your mouth is empty? Say, ah. Sorry, bad doctor joke. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, a pane of glass. It'll be in the trajectory of the bullet for the skeptics in the room. In Balsamo, tonight, would you like to perform the bullet catch with a blindfold? Yes, of course, a blindfold. That way he can hear the bullet when it's coming oh. towards him. <laughs> Allison, examine the blindfold. All good? It's Real blindfold? Clear. Excellent. I love that I'm checking. But yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. the time is upon us. May we have a drum roll. I don't feel Oh, Allison, safe. you're now in the zone of danger. I don't Get out. Get you. out of the zone yeah. of danger. Yeah, definitely. Okay, bye. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the weapon is armed. 
Are you alive? I mean, unharmed? <laughs> and he's got a bullet in his mouth. Right. Safety. No, it's not the safety zone. Balsamo, <laughs> let Allison inspect the bullet. <laughs> and Allison, is yeah. that indeed your signed bullet? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think Balsamo killed it tonight. <laughs> Dr. Ricardo Rosencrantz. Thank you. Oh. And I get to interview both of you. Absolutely. Are you really a former patient? Yes. So which one of you is the brains of the operation? Well, you know, you. he's a head case. Uh, <laughs> and I like, much like Penn and Teller, only one of you speaks. Exactly. <laughs> How do you balance your medical life with your magic life? You know, it's really funny because most medicine happens during the day and most magic happens during the night. Ah. So when magicians are sleeping, I'm doctoring. And when doctors are sleeping, I'm magicianing. So when do you sleep? A um, couple hours here and there. Oh, all right, Dr. Imbalsamo. Let's see if you fooled Penn and Teller. Guys. Dr. Doctor, Mr. MD. <laughs> nice trick, very nice trick. Looks really good, you know the bullet catch. As you mentioned, during your uh, intro is uh, very close to our heart, so to speak. We've done this in this very theater. We've done our version of the double bullet catch uh, a couple thousand times, I think. And uh, very happy to not have raised the 12 people who've died to 14. And now I have the overwhelming urge to talk about baseball. Because you know, I've been told when the bases are loaded, in an exciting game of baseball that no one is going to steal. Why would you steal with the bases loaded? And yet, stealing and bases loaded going on in this trick to make it happen. We first thought, well, that blindfold, that looks awfully fishy. You know, an assistant with a blindfold, we're gonna watch her like a hawk, but that blindfold, clean as driven snow if snow were black and made of cloth. <laughs> Just, just beautiful there, but we do not think you fooled us. And doctor, you're the expert, what do you think? What's your prognosis? My prognosis depends on Balsamo. He's the one that performed it, so okay. you wanna tell me what you think? Balsamo says, you're dead on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Doctor, you didn't fool them, but you sure entertained us. Thank you so much. Thank Dr. you so Ricardo much. Dr. Ricardo Rosenkranz! Just us now. Don't go anywhere. In fact, freeze, because up next, you'll see a trick by Penn and Teller. Oh.